The Saab JAS-39 Gripen, Sweden's flagship multi-role fighter jet, has long been celebrated for its agility, cost-effectiveness, and advanced technology, making it a compelling option for nations seeking to bolster their air forces without breaking the bank. However, a recurring issue has begun to cast a shadow over its export potential. The aircraft's reliance on an American-made engine, the General Electric F4 and 4G, which subjects it to U.S. export controls under the International Traffic in Arms Regulations, the ITAR. This dependence has recently come into sharp focus, with developments such as the apparent stalling of a Gripen sale to Colombia, where U.S. intervention, specifically regarding the engine, may have derailed the deal. As geopolitical tensions rise and nations like the United States wield their technological leverage, the Gripen's American origin engine is increasingly seen as a potential Achilles heel, raising questions about its competitiveness in the global export market. The Colombian case offers a stark illustration of this vulnerability. In late 2024, reports surfaced that Colombia was poised to acquire Gripen jets, with Swedish public radio SR citing sources on November 5, 2024, suggesting a deal was imminent. The Gripen's affordability and operational flexibility made it an attractive choice for Colombia, a nation looking to modernize its aging fleet amid regional security concerns. Yet, by early 2025, the narrative shifted. On February 26, 2025, Info Defensa reported that the U.S. had requested a meeting with Colombia's defense minister to discuss the purchase, hinting at pressure to favor an American alternative like the F-16 or F-35. Speculation intensified that the U.S. might block the export of the F-44G engine, a critical component of the Gripen EF variants Colombia was eyeing. While Saab's Richard Smith denied a definitive U.S. veto on that date, posts on X by mid-March 2025 suggested the deal had collapsed, with many pointing to U.S. restrictions on the engine as the culprit. Saab has since hinted at exploring alternative engines, potentially from Rolls-Royce, but the uncertainty has left the Colombian sale in limbo, underscoring how the Gripen's American engine can complicate export negotiations. This issue is not unique to Colombia. Canada's recent reconsideration of its fighter jet procurement, reported by CBC News on March 14, 2025, further highlights the problem. Amid strained U.S.-Canada relations under a Trump administration, Defense Minister Bill Blair signaled openness to revisiting the Gripen, which had placed second to the F-35 in Canada's earlier competition. However, as Martin Shadwick noted in the Ottawa Citizen on March 18, 2025, the Gripen's U.S.-made engine introduces a risk. The United States could leverage ITAR to block the sale if it perceives a threat to its interests or prefers Canada to buy American. Saab officials remained non-committal when pressed on this possibility, but the specter of U.S. intervention looms large. In both cases, the F44G engine transforms the Gripen from a Swedish product into a geopolitical bargaining chip, subject to Washington's approval, a dynamic that could deter potential buyers wary of American influence. The Gripen's engine saga reflects broader challenges tied to its hybrid design. Unlike fully indigenous platforms or those reliant on European suppliers, the Gripen's integration of US technology, chosen for performance and cost reasons, ties it to America's export regime. The F-44G, a derivative of the F-404 used in earlier Gripen models, powers the advanced EF variants, delivering the thrust needed for modern combat while keeping production costs lower than competitors like the Eurofighter Typhoon. However, this advantage comes with a catch. ITAR gives the U.S. State Department authority to approve or deny exports of American military components often based on strategic rather than technical considerations. In Colombia's case, U.S. reluctance may stem from a desire to maintain influence in Latin America, where an American-supplied fleet aligns more closely with Washington's security architecture. Similarly, in Canada, trade disputes or political leverage could prompt a veto, even for a NATO ally. 
This unpredictability introduces a layer of risk for Gripen buyers that competitors like France's Rafale, with its fully domestic Snecma M88 engine, simply don't face. Could this be a weakness dragging the Gripen down in the export market? The evidence suggests it's a significant hurdle, though not necessarily fatal. The Gripen has secured sales to countries like Brazil, Thailand, and Sweden itself, proving its appeal where U.S. approval aligns or isn't a factor. Brazil's 36-unit order, finalized in 2014 and expanding with a potential second batch by February 2025, proceeded smoothly, likely because U.S.-Brazil relations supported the deal. Yet, the Colombian setback and Canadian uncertainty indicate that in contested markets, where the U.S. has competing interests or alternative offerings, the engine issue can tip the scales. Saab's stock took a hit after the Columbia rumors, as noted by Market Screener on February 26, 2025, reflecting investor concern about export viability. Competitors exploit this weakness. France has aggressively marketed the Rafale's independence from U.S. parts, while Lockheed Martin touts the F-35's all-American pedigree, backed by a vast industrial ecosystem. For nations prioritizing sovereignty or avoiding U.S. entanglements, the Gripen's engine becomes a liability. Saab isn't standing still. The company's exploration of alternative engines signals a proactive response. Though re-engineering the Gripen for a new power plant, say, a European option like the Rolls-Royce EJ200, would require time, investment, and recertification, potentially raising costs and delaying deliveries. Such a shift could mitigate the ITAR risk, but it wouldn't erase the perception that the Gripen's supply chain is a geopolitical football. In the meantime, the aircraft struggles to shake the narrative of vulnerability. Posts on X in March 2025 lament the Gripen's US leash, with users noting that even Sweden's neutrality can't fully insulate its flagship export from American whims. Sales figures tell a mixed story, the Gripen's export tally, around 100 units sold or ordered outside Sweden, lags behind the Rafale, over 200, and far behind the F-35's global dominance, though its lower price point keeps it in the game. In conclusion, the Gripen's American origin engine is undeniably a double-edged sword. It enhances performance and affordability, key selling points that have won it admirers from South America to Southeast Asia. Yet, as the Columbia case and Canada's deliberations reveal, it also exposes the jet to U.S. export restrictions that can scuttle deals at critical moments. This weakness doesn't doom the Gripen. Its versatility and Saab's adaptability ensure it remains a contender, but it does constrain its reach in a market where autonomy and reliability of supply are prized. Until Saab can fully untangle the Gripen from American strings, its export story will be one of potential tempered by politics, a cautionary tale of how even a stellar fighter can stumble over the parts that power it.